I feel this is a Hong Kong's opportunity to take advantage of the Belt and Road Initiative launched under the stewardship of the Honorable Chinese President Xi Jinping and build IP partnerships with economies covered by the Belt and Road Program. Being the world gateway to China and by extension, the Asia Pacific region, Hong Kong is in a unique position to facilitate the traffic of IP sharing between the East and the West. I love this topic is about IP because IP is important. Um, getting obviously getting the rights to make that film, but ultimately, uh, as my old chairman um, Jack Valencia used to say, if you don't protect what you own, you have nothing. So there's an increased focus in China on the need to protect IP. Um, there's a new film industry promotion law coming through that will hopefully um, en enable people to more easily navigate through the IP um, issues that occur in China. But why China? Um, you just look at those numbers. Uh, again, I, I call them mind-blowing. This is a marketplace where the box office, and the box office is the, the engine that drives the rest of the trains, where the engine is incredibly strong. Um, you have got a growth there that's 20 times. Um, over a 10-year period um, and already this year uh, the box office has surpassed what it was last year and is on for another record-breaking year and the government has a, a forecasted predicted growth of 30% per annum and this year it's more like 50% so again I, uh, the catch I always say is China are too big to ignore in the, in the film business the Hong Kong government have made an initiative to uh, provide additional funding uh, to promote uh, local productions. Uh, that is to say that uh, uh, we have uh, new programs to which to promote, uh, uh, to promote, uh, subsidize uh, 12 movies a year uh, uh, in terms of their uh, local productions here in Hong Kong. And uh, this is a, a significant uh, uh, numbers increase uh, as compared with uh, last year and for Hong Kong Film Award and we are still considered to be one of the majors award for Chinese community uh, last year we have a numbers or uh, a hit numbers of like uh, 220,000 on the award light uh, and to which is a very uh, big numbers in terms of uh, viewers uh, that we have uh, on the uh, Hong Kong Film Award paying millions of dollars right now for an individual film uh, to be shown on online video in China, whereas just a few years ago, you know, it was in the tens of thousands of dollars per film. Um, so that's a, an important and, and uh, growing source of revenue for uh, intellectual property rights holders. And, um, you know, I think that the future is bright in that area. I think that you know the Chinese film companies and the Chinese government are really starting to understand the value of, of their IP, um, you know, and that it is exportable, that it is valuable within China, and that they need to protect it. I think one of the trends is going to be that the uh, film companies are going to be working much more closely with the authorities in China to protect IP. Uh, actually, the way of uh, making films are very different now in, in China compared to 10, 20 years ago. Recently, in the past, I would say starting five years ago, um, the people, the investors from outside the industry have become interested in film markets, in film productions. So people coming in, um, like with film funds, with venture capitals to come in to um, do, uh, invest on film production. Today, I will say oh, in the future, there's opportunities for Hong Kong movie industry to work closely with mainland Chinese uh, industry to bring the China movie to the world. I totally agree with uh, what William just said. I really believe that there are opportunities for big Chinese IP um, to go to the world in the next five, 10 years. I think another big trend uh, to point out is a consequence of the film business in China growing so fast. Um, because the amount of dollars at stake has increased so much in such a short period, the, the number of people and the length of experience of people in the business who are working on the kind of the business and legal side of the motion picture business is not um, 
as many as it could be relative to the size of the business. And that means the expertise to set up the rights in the right way is not necessarily readily uh, available and out there. Um, and that makes this a difficult problem to address because people need to have familiarity and expertise in these issues in order to address that problem.